Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given radical equation by this given isolation method. And eventually, we're going to check our answer as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The very first step is we want to make sure that wherever you see this radical part, this one over here, this one I'm going to isolate and I'm going to put it on the other side. So once you move that one on the other side, we are left with x plus 15 on the left hand side equals to a times square root of x. So finally, we got the radical part on the right hand side. Now we want to remove this radical by just simply taking the square of this one. If you take square on this side, you're going to take the square on this side as well. And this uh, square, x plus 15 square, could be opened up. We can expand it using this well-known formula, a plus b squared equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. But if you want to do it a little bit different way, I can show you another way as well. So x plus 15 power 2 could be written as, since power 2 means I can write it twice. So I can write x plus 15 and then x plus 15 as well. We can apply the rainbow method, x times x, and then this way, foil method or rainbow method. So you're going to do this thing. So that's going to give you x squared plus 15x plus 15x. And finally, 15 times 15 is 225. Let's combine these like terms. We got x squared plus 30x plus 225. So we're going to go ahead and put this, whatever we got, we are going to put it right here on the left hand side. So I can put x squared plus 30x plus 225. And on the right hand side, you can see 8 power 2, 8 squared is going to be a 64. And this square and square root, they cancel each other out. They undo each other. So we end up with x. So 64x. I want you to move this 64x on the left hand side. So once you move that one, x squared plus 30x plus 225. And when you move this one on the other side, become negative 64x equal to 0. Let's combine the like terms. We're going to move, combine these one. So I'm going to say x squared minus 34x plus 225 equal to zero. So you can see this is a quadratic equation. We can easily factor this one out. I want you to put down two parentheses equal to zero. I want you to put down x right up here and x right up here. And in the next step, I want you to write down this positive 225 on the top of this x factor and negative 34 which is in the middle should go at the bottom. Let's find the possible factors of 225. So the possible factor is going to be a 9 times 25. I'm going to put down 9 times 25 is going to give you 225. 9 and 25 of course is going to give you 34. Only thing is we need to fix the sign. So this is going to be a negative sign this is going to be a negative sign. So we got these two factors. So let's put down these two factors. Negative 9 is going to come over here and negative 25 is going to come over here. And now since we have a two factors equal to 0, I can separate them. I can split them up. x minus 9 equal to 0 and x minus 25 equal to 0. So that's going to give you x equal to 9. And on this side, it's going to give us x equal to 25. So thus our uh, solutions turn out to be x equal to 9 and x equal to 25. In the next step, we're going to check these 
solutions. And in this next step, we are going to check our these two given answer x equal to 9 and x equal to 25. So let's go ahead and check x equal to 9 if it is going to work for us. So wherever you see x, you replace that one by 9. So that is simply going to give us 9 minus 8 times square root of 9 plus 15. My question is, is it equal to the right hand side which is 0? Let's simplify the left hand side 9 minus this a square root of 9 is 3. So 8 times 3 plus 15. So 9 minus 24 plus 15. So this, if you add and subtract, that's going to give you 0 and the right hand side 0. My question is, is this statement true? Yes, of course, indeed, this is true. So thus, that means this x equal to 9 is our answer that has been checked. It's a good solution. So next we're going to check x equal to 25. So wherever you see x, replace it by 25. So this becomes 25 minus 8 times square root of 25 plus 15. Is it equal to the right hand side which is 0. Let's simplify. We know that the square root of 25 is 5. So I can write 25 minus 8 times 5 plus 15. So this is 25 minus 40 plus 15. That is going to give you 0 on the left hand side and we know 0 is on the right side as well. My question is this statement true? Yes, indeed, this is true. So that means our x equals 25 is also a good solution. Thus, our solution set turns out to be a 9 and 25. And here is your assignment. Can you do the very same radical equation by using a substitution method? You can take your time. You can pause the video. Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.